Hey y'all, it's Aurelius. In this video, I'm going to share nine amazing uses for Canva in four minutes. As you may or may not know, Canva is an easy to use design tool which you can use to pretty much create anything such as resumes, presentations, social media graphics, invitations, and so much more. Now with that said, let's get started and I'll start the timer now. Okay, tip or use number one is, did you know that Canva allows you to create product mockups? Well, check this out. We've got a product mockup. I've got this image. If you click once, click on effects, you'll see an option for smart mockups. If you don't see this, simply scroll down and then look underneath, you may also like, click it and enable it. Once you have that enabled, click on see all, and then you can see all the product mockups that you can create from iPhone mockups to laptop mockups. But in this case, I'm going to use an ebook mockup for this example. So this one right here, click it once, and then it will basically convert this image into a 3D professionally looking realistic ebook. Now I can just resize it and use it in any marketing collateral that I want. Tip number two is that you can use Canva to generate colors for your brand. For this tip, what you're going to wanna do first is browse the net to find any photos that inspire you and the brand colors that you like. Once you've done that, upload it to Canva and then load it up to your canvas. In this case, I've got these coffee tones, which I simply love. Now you can generate brand colors or a color palette straight from this by simply going to text, insert any text you want, so I've got this heading here. And then once I click that, click on the text color. And now you see your color palette right here. Now I can stay consistent in terms of brand colors on my website, my products, and also marketing collateral. Tip number three is that you can create graphs straight inside Canva by using their graph maker. Simply go to canva.com forward slash graphs. Enter your graph name, click on create my graph now. Choose a graph type right here. Let's say I want a pie chart, click on pie chart. Select the style, click on the pie chart, click on edit into your figures. So let's say 10% as opposed to the 15% default. And as you can see, now it's adjusted the pie chart. You're free to also change the colors by clicking it, changing the color. Let's select this and there we go. Next up, ever wanted to remove the background from your photo or you wanna isolate yourself so only you are in the picture? Well, Canva's got a background remover. Simply upload your image, load it up to your canvas, click it, click on effects, click the background remover once, That'll do its job of detecting the background and isolating yourself or the object. And in just a matter of seconds, you've got the background removed. Side note though, this is a Canva Pro feature only. Number five, Canva allows you to create all sorts of text effects. Here are nine different examples that I can show you. We've got the frames effect, the curved glitch 3D, perfectly aligned text, highlight effect, hollow, solid, and minimalist. I'll show you in step-by-step -step detail how to achieve these text effects in a separate tutorial, which I'll link up right here. Number six, you can use Canva as a video editor. Simply upload your video in the uploads, click on videos, add the video to your blank canvas, select the video, and then you'll see this scissors icon. Click it once. Now I can cut where I want. So let's say the first couple of seconds right here. And let's say I need to take another second from the end. Once you're done with the cuts, click on done. And now your video is cut. Number seven, Canva allows you to enhance your photos. Here's a photo I took which looks quite flat and dull. I can enhance this easily by clicking the image once. I would go then to adjust and then I can adjust the brightness as well as the contrast, give it a bit more color, a bit of saturation. You can even add vignette, so it gives that dramatic effect. And here's the before and after. Number eight, you can design and print physical products. Using Canva print, you can create business cards, business prints, mugs, t-shirts, photo books, brochures, and much more. Here's an example. I've got coffee is life, and then we can either choose one side, both sides, customize your options, selecting the color of the t-shirt that you want, selecting the style, select the size, and continue the steps to get your custom t-shirt printed. And number nine, you can make money by selling your Canva designs. Let's say you've created your design. I've got this presentation for my demo. I can provide a customizable version for my customers by clicking on share. At the bottom, click on share a link, select share a link to use as template, click on the copy link option. And this is the exact link you want to deliver to your customers once they've purchased your Canva template. So there you have it, nine amazing uses for Canva in four minutes. I hope this video was helpful and you learned a new tip or two. And if you did, by all means, give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which of these tips is your favorite. In the meantime, I'll link up a couple more videos for you to get more tips and tricks to level up your Canva skills. So I'll see you there.